Glory be to God, my brothers and sisters. Glory be to God. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I have another powerful message to put into your mind. As a matter of fact, this message is about the mind. It's about your mind. So let's get right into that. I'm coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Father, may you give me your Holy Spirit to bring forth your message with truth, clarity, and most of all, understanding. In Jesus' name, I ask for this. Amen. This is Paul speaking to the Christians of Corinth, and he's also speaking to us Christians in these last days. Listen to what Paul said. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, Paul said this, But I fear that, as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your minds may be seduced from a sincere, pure devotion to Christ. Paul said, I fear. Paul was afraid that just as Satan deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden, he will deceive the Christians of Corinth and also the Christians in these last days. Satan only has one weapon, and that's deception, manipulation. And he only used that weapon on your mind. This is why I tell Christians all the time, the war of life is in your mind. Your Christian warfare is in your mind. Like Paul said in Ephesians, our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness. Meaning our, flight, our fight is not against people. It's against Satan and his demonic army. And Satan is a master at deception. Master at deception. He deceived a third of the angels. The Bible records that angels are made higher than, than mankind. Mankind is made a little bit lower than the angels. Angels are powerful, strong beings. And Satan deceived them with no problem, a third of them. Satan deceived Eve in the garden when she was perfect. She knew nothing about evil. She just knew good. She was a perfect human being. So so if Satan deceived her in her perfection to make her fall, then who are we that have already fallen? We are born in sin. So we have already fallen. Adam fell, Adam and Eve fell when they disobeyed God. So as people are born into the world, we have already fallen. So who is us that Satan cannot deceive us? Look at the way the churches are now. You have pastors marrying same-sex couples. God said that's an abomination to me. You have pastors bringing in men dressed as women, transvestite, to teach the kids in Sunday school. That's also an abomination. Nowadays, most Christian churches do what the government want them to do or what they feel they should do. They don't do what God wants them to do anymore. So can we honestly say that Satan has deceived their minds like Paul was afraid of? Satan is a master at deception. It's the only weapon he has. When Christ came, Satan took him into the wilderness and tempted him three times. Those three temptations was to take his mind away from God. Satan is a master of deception. He's been doing it for thousands of years. And what's the saying? Practice become what? Perfect. Satan is perfect. He's a master at it, at, de at deceiving people. So we see here, Satan's main mission for Christians that Paul was afraid of that he might deceive us into basically disobeying Christ. And, ex and that's exactly what's going on in these last days. In Revelation, it states that Satan 
Matter of fact, instead of me telling you, let me just take you there. Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. Starting in verse 9. Listen to this. So the great dragon was thrown out, the ancient serpent, who is called devil and Satan, the one who deceives the whole world. The one who deceives the whole world. He was thrown to earth and his angels with him. The one who deceives the whole world. So basically, with us Christians, Satan attempt is to make us believe that the wrongdoing is right. Let me clarify that for you. Just like I said before, when pastors marry same-sex couples in church of God, in the house of God, they believe they're doing it for love. These people love each other. Why not marry them? When in actuality, God says it's an abomination to him, so it's wrong. If it's wrong in God's eyes, it's wrong in our eyes as well. So that's what Satan does by deceiving our minds to make us believe that the wrong thing we're doing is right. So my brothers and sisters, be careful. Satan is always prowling around like a roaring lion to see who he can devour mentally. The war is in your mind mentally. He's always looking around to see which Christian he can deceive mentally. But the only way as a Christian to fight Satan on this mental deception is to study the word of God. This is why I try to drive it in people brains in Christian brains. Study, 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 study your Bible. It's your only weapon you have against Satan and his demonic army, along with the Holy Spirit. Your Bible, the information you need. Listen, you cannot fight an enemy if you know nothing about the enemy. Let me repeat that. You cannot fight an enemy if you know nothing about your enemy. And especially if you don't know the kind of weapons your enemy is using. The Bible exposes Satan and, and his only weapon, deception. And once you know that about your enemy, you can easily defeat him. So as for a Christian, study your Bible. Please, it's the only way to defeat Satan with his mental attack. Remember, the war is in your mind. This is why the Bible said as Christians, we need to have the mind of Christ. Because Satan couldn't get to Jesus' mind. And the only way to get the mind of Christ is to study the scriptures about Christ. Study your scriptures. Study your Bible, my brothers and sisters. So you can defeat Satan. Now, let's look at the opposite. Since Christians are Satan's main focus, what about non-Christians? Let me show you what Satan do to non-Christians. Now, for Christians, he, he tried to deceive our mind. Some works and some he fails. Like me, he fails with me. I don't know about you, but Satan could never get me to go against God like he used to. All that's changed because I know him now. I know what he's about. I know he's a liar. I know he's a murderer. I know he's, his only weapon is deception. So with you, I try to help you the best I can. So let me show you what Satan does to non-Christians because there's only two kinds of people in the world. In God's point of view, when God looked down from heaven from his throne, he only sees two kinds of people, Christians and non-Christians. Why? Because of Jesus' death on the cross. He don't see Muslim. He don't see Hindu. He don't see Buddha. He don't see nothing but Christians and non-Christians. So let me show you what Satan does to non-Christians. Same, same book, 2 Corinthians, but turn over to chapter 4. Let me show you what Satan does to non-Christians. Chapter 4, starting at verse 3. Listen to this. But if our gospel is vile, it is vile to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this age has blinded their minds 
so they cannot see the light of Jesus Christ. Let me just read that in total for you because I had to break it down. Listen to what it says. But if our gospel is vile, it is vile to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Basically saying, for those non-believers, Satan has blinded their minds. Notice, he deceives the minds of Christians, but he blinds the minds of non-Christians. It's a difference. Because a Christian mind is not blinded because we have gotten baptized. We have seen the light of Christ and believed in the name of Christ, so we got baptized. So we're not blinded anymore. So Satan could only try to deceive our minds. But with the non-Christian, Satan has blinded their minds to the point where they just go against God. Like atheists, Satan have blinded their minds. They say there is no God. For people who say, oh, I don't believe in no such thing as no Jesus, whoever, white or black, I don't believe in no Jesus that came from a virgin birth. Satan has blinded their minds. You already know it's bad when you can't see. Your eyes are in darkness. But imagine your mind when it's blinded. You really cannot see the truth. Even if somebody slap you in the face with the truth, you're not going to see it. So Satan has blinded the minds of unbelievers. Why you think men cut off their penis and put a fake vagina down there? Why you think women chop off their breasts and say that they're a man? Satan has blinded their minds to the point where they don't even want to be the gender that God made them to be. That's what you call blinded. So Satan only weapon is deception of the mind, manipulation of the mind. Let me read one more verse and I'm done. Same book, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Listen to this. Listen to this. So that we may not be taken of, excuse me, so that we may not be taken advantage of by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. We are not ignorant of his weapons, of the way he utilizes his deception. If you study your Bible, Paul is telling you, you will not be ignorant of Satan's schemes. You will not be overcome by his manipulation. This is why I say study the Bible. I'm following Paul telling you to study the Bible. Let me read that again. So that we may not be taken advantage of by Satan for we are not ignorant of his schemes. So my brothers and sisters, who are Christians? First, you must study your Bible to keep Satan from deceiving your mind, but you also help the non-believers and show them that, hey, Satan will blind your mind if you let him. And once your mind is blind, blinded, it's basically kind of hard to come into Jesus it's basically kind of hard to see the light of Christ, but it's not impossible. It's very possible. That believer, I mean, excuse me, that non-believer that Satan has blinded their minds, they really have to fight to see the truth. And when they see the truth, they really have to pay attention and grab hold of the truth. Once you grab hold of the truth, that's the first stage of, of seeing the light of Christ. The truth, Jesus said, who worship the Father, worship the Father in spirit and truth. Once a non-believer who minds has been blinded by Satan, once they see the truth, they must try their best to grab on to that truth so they could start seeing the light and come over from darkness into light. And that's basically my message. Study these scriptures, my brothers and sisters. I don't like to take too long with my, with my messages anymore because of the attention spans of people. You know, the world is crazy nowadays. Social media has basically corrupted the minds of people, including Christians. So with that being said, watch your minds. Always remember, the warfare of life is in the mind. It's in the mind. With that being said, may God bless you all, both Christians and non-Christians, in Jesus' mighty name. Have a good day. Amen.